Hi everyone, Lucia back. Today I am having a little bit of fun. I am trying this uh, digital microscope that I received from Andostar. So the microscope is called Andostar AD2035 HDMI uh, PC compatible. So this is the one, the microscope. It's a digital microscope and has a 4 inch LCD screen. And I've been playing for a while and today I decided, you know, it's time for me to, to share this with you. So thank you so much to, to Endostar for sending me this for free. And I will give you my honest opinion and I will show you how I use it in my daily work. So because most of the time I do I do jewelry so and stones, so for me it's it's very helpful. And what is great about this microscope is that it's also comes with a handheld thingy so you have the stand here but we also have uh, the handheld so this is very great for uh, if you're outdoor or in the store and you want to check something then uh, yeah it's it's great to have it to look at the I don't know jewelry coins stamps whatever rocks yeah so this will be great and it's not for uh, medical purposes it's just for like hobby like coins slides insects flowers and of course the jewelry okay so I'll show you how you can um, take this one off like this from here okay if you want screw these maybe like that then you can take it out okay come on right the other way I think this uh, angle is not quite good for, for, for my camera and I'm, I'm having a hard time but that's okay that's okay so yeah this one is connected right now okay like that it also comes with a micro SD card so you can save your photos and also supports HDMI expansion to a larger screen if you want to do presentations or conferences so but this this is my favorite so you see you can just grab it and take it with you you can just do this close it and it has a battery and that's it and uh, the light too isn't this cool great and the screen is five uh, no four inches okay so I'm gonna put this one back and I will show you how I use it and for what okay Give me one second, guys. Okay, so now what I did, I like to use a piece of cardboard, okay, and put it all over there and make a circle because sometimes I'm having a hard time uh, finding my the center. So, and I also don't like the, the aluminum. I'm not sure it's just the stand. It's not... Uh, pleasing for the eye that's what I, I found out the the metal this one it's not quite this one so I like the white better because there are no no uh, distortions or anything like that or any glare okay so now let's let's look at some stuff so we have the lights over there that you can adjust right I think so the brightness on on the lights um, have my circle here okay right so for this particular video I'm using white gloves because I also find it a little bit more helpful and the camera is focusing much better if you're using white gloves you know okay so let's see my words okay I'm, I'm, oh, I'm trying my best I'm trying my best here okay oopsie boopsie let's see let's look at some first I wanted to sh uh, share some rings and then let, we can look at some amber and some stones I would like to sh show you all the details of the, the, the stuff that we have okay right so let's look at this uh, uh, agate first right and then uh, look at how, how nice it is you can see every little detail 
I will try to not move very fast so you guys don't get dizzy. Come on. Okay. So that's why I have the circle over there. And you can adjust, you can zoom in or zoom out. See every little detail. We can see every little detail here. Okay. What else should we look at? Oh, okay. I have this, I'll show you here first. I have this charm bracelet. It has a bunch of charms and I wanted to make sure that they are all sterling silver. So let's look at this one. You can see all the details in the charms. This one has Barbara, Saint Barbara. And also you can see the sterling creed, sterling Right? Everything is so, so detailed. Okay, and then I'm going to show you this one. It's very, very nice. It's it's a, a really nice one. And I also use it for, uh, when I repair jewelry. It's also very nice. Or you can use it for soldering. Isn't this cool? I think it was really cool, yes. Okay. Now, let me show you another one with the, uh, with the details so we can see the details on this one too. This ring. Right? Both of them on the cameo. And also the flowers. Very cool. So if, if I'm going to show you like this, see, this is how you see it. And on the microscope, it's much, much, much nicer. Okay, and then my fifth, oopsie, my favorite is the uh, the stones and also the amber so I have a opal let's look at the opals now I'll show you the opal look how nice it is and the flesh and everything you can just pretty much see every yeah every little thing and also the markings it's very nice because oops you can use it to look at the markings see I can see come on see how clear you can definitely see the markings and everything yeah and like that okay then I have the amber ring And I love to look at the amber. That was my favorite thing. I've been looking at amber since I got this microscope. I've been just <laughs> looking like every piece of amber that I had. I'm sorry about the glare, but that's uh, from the from the little lights over there. So I was looking for bugs. I do not have any box but I wanted to look at this and I wanted to show you this one because this one is very interesting and this one has a bug do you guys see that bug yeah I can see the wings I think this is maybe a bee or I don't know what like this right yeah 
I hope I'm not ma making you dizzy guys because that's not my my purpose and now let's look at this one that I have from Chapadas Mexico I think or Chop I'm not sure what okay and I think this one also had some some bugs or some sort of an inclusion from the amber that's my favorite I think that's a little bug over there you guys see it okay and I have another piece of amber this one is a heart with a lot of inclusions in there no box though just a lot of debris but no box at least I cannot see any box right and there is this bracelet now that might have I think I saw something in this one here it's cool. It, it is really fun, you guys. I've, I've been <laughs> playing with this for a while. And it's much more fun when you're not filming and you're not looking into cameras and trying to to stay still. It's much more fun when, you, when you're doing it by yourself. So, yeah. Just gonna do this like this. I love the amber. Oh, that the microscope. And now, I can show you a quart one, a quartz stone, this is a stone. Right, maybe I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Okay, and I will just do it like this, okay? in this call and let me show you again the uh, this one with the camera zoomed in cool cool <laughs> definitely really cool and then this one too I'll show you this one again okay and the Opal. Okay. And now let's look at this one. This is a, a nice. I think these are also agates, maybe. I think, uh, or um, I do love the color on this one. Just love to look at the stones. And also I have a quartz, uh, no, a turquoise that I, th I thought I should share. This. Right. And also the quartz. The inclusions over there. In that quartz. Okay. And I also wanted to sh share that you can actually see this is a nice pendant and you can definitely see it's painted but you can see the details and everything really nice I'll show you the pendant okay like that what else Oh, I wanted to show you this one too, the coral, the pink coral. You can definitely tell it's a coral if you look under the microscope. This is not perfect and it, the color is also not perfect. And this one I believe is gold plated or... I'm not sure. I don't see any markings over there. And now let me show you another ring that I I'm missing a stone, actually more stones. See how nice you can see 
how many stones you're missing and then you can also uh, fix them it's an easy fix I just need to order the the marker sites because those are some special ones and also the markings inside everything is very clear as long as I don't move very fast and see another example this is how I inspect my my rings before I list them making sure that there are no stones missing I mean you can use the loop but uh, this is much easier so see I'm missing one stone over there okay and if you look at this one like that you, you won't notice and now let me show you this one that I have it's a Judy Jack necklace that it's on okay where am I here it's on my Etsy shop this one all with marker sides and I will show you under the microscope how cool it is <laughs> I was having so much fun before I listed it I was testing it making sure that all the stones are there right so you need to adjust it a little bit but yes I did have uh, a lot of fun okay so that's the marker side and then I also wanted to show you this one this is also on my Etsy shop another necklace with azurite and malachite I want you guys to see the, the stones and the colors here. My okay. Yes, I'm telling you, it's much more fun when you're doing it without filming and worrying about what do you guys see. Okay, so I think that, that's, um, that's it. I just um, wanted to share and give you my honest review. So if you guys are interested, I will leave the link. It's $129, but I think it's it's a nice uh, tool to have in your daily work, especially if you're doing a lot of repairs or you are using your eyes a lot. And uh, honestly, guys, my next thing is to try uh, and do my nails. So I'm going to try and see if I can use this microscope and um, use it when I do my nails, paint my nails. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'll keep you updated though. And I thank you so much. Uh, to Endostar for sending me this uh, microscope and also you guys for for watching. I will see you in my next video. I hope I didn't uh, make you dizzy. Bye-bye.